Lads, lads, lads. Great to be back with you. Well, this is the big one, Tom Kenny. Before we get into this, uh, my name is Hal. You're on the Chef United way. Please like and subscribe. I will just say, uh, for those of you that don't really like transfer speculation videos, fear not. We have a host of different videos on this channel. If you're new, we have a load of very worthy interviews. We have some dealing with charitable efforts. We have some dealing with some very sensitive subjects like mental health. Do watch those. So if this kind of thing isn't for you, that's absolutely fair enough. We have a whole load of stuff that is timeless and can be watched in between those Euros matches. Right, let's get to Tom Kearney, a 30-year-old born in Nottingham, a six-foot-tall midfielder who began his career in the youth system of first Leeds United. He was released at 16 and then went to Hull City. He represented Scotland as well at under-19, under-21 and full international level. He actually qualifies through his uh, Scottish dad and uh, Kenny also supports Celtic. So uh, maybe him and uh, Ollie McBurney and John Fleck might have uh, something to talk about in the dressing room if he were to sign. So as I mentioned, he's a midfielder and he really does dictate the tempo and the play. He can create and he can score goals. He impressed at Hull City, getting his big break under Phil Brown and playing over 70 games, including in the Premier League, before a move to Blackburn Rovers. And there he really blossomed into that number 10 that he is today. He became a firm fan's favourite. Appearances and scoring goals all went up. The fans voted him player of the season in his first year at the club. He made 40 appearances in that season and scored on six occasions. The following year, he made even more, 45 appearances, scoring three times for Rovers. Kearney then signed for his current club, Fulham, on the 26th of June 2015 for an undisclosed fee. But if you do a bit of searching around like I've done, you can see there's a few figures banded about. Transfer market have it as uh, just under four million pounds and he signed then a four-year contract which is obviously uh, continued in total kenny who's been fulham captain has made 217 appearances and scored 37 goals in all competitions for fulham since joining as i mentioned from blackburn back in 2015. he also became a popular player with the cottagers faithful not just for his consistency but he scored the only goal against aston villa at wembley stadium in the 2018 Championship playoff final to promote Fulham to the Premier League. Tom Kenny is left-footed. He's got so many quality attributes. He can play attacking midfield. He can play defensive midfield or in the middle of the three. That's his favourite. Uh, he's also operated on the right-hand side before, cutting inside. Other areas of strength, his long shots, his passing, He's not rash. He doesn't dive into tackles. He can spot a key through ball to open up a defence. He's very calm on the ball. And that's something I think to be recognised because you really, if you're a Sheffield United fan, you've seen players before. I don't want to mention any names, maybe a friend of the channel, who can panic on the ball. So he's able to kind of thread that pass through the opposition's defence. And his ability to create a chance out of absolutely nothing has been a noticeable attribute for the Scot. If we look at his disadvantages, I would say his age. Now, he's not old. He's 30. But in football terms, what are we talking? Maybe four more years? Maybe three at the highest level? The other thing I would say a slight disadvantage if this was to be a transfer, he's had a bad knee injury, which happened in 2020 pre-season. This is a concern as he's been here before. In 2012-13 season, when playing for Hull City, he suffered a serious knee injury that ruled him out of action for three months after a horror tackle from Middlesbrough's left-back James Husband. That was in a League Cup game against uh, Doncaster. Uh, he only managed 14 appearances that season, scoring one goal. His relatively high wages and his transfer fee, that's something else to be considered. Scott Parker is also a big fan and a friend, and you know he'll be highly unlikely to want to let go for cheap, certainly, uh, or to a league rival, his kind of linchpin 
midfielder, particularly one aiming for that same direct return to the Premier League. Fulham and Sheffield United are going to be very much in the same boat. So I'd be really surprised if Scott Parker, the Fulham boss, wanted to let Kearney go. The Blades need creativity. Kearney also knows how to get promotion. He knows how to play alongside and get the best out of Oliver Norwood. And in Jokanovic's promotion-winning 17-18 campaign with Fulham, Kearney was one of the Serbian manager's most crucial players with the midfielder scoring five goals, getting five assists and creating four big chances over his 34 championship appearances, as well as averaging a whopping 93.5 touches and 1.9 key passes per game, if you're into your stats and analytics. Kenny impressed for the Cottages in the Premier League last season, despite missing a huge chunk due to injury. But when he did play, he played well, scoring one goal, providing one assist in only 10 games. The championship rival Cottages are believed to be demanding a fee in the region of £10 million in order for a deal to even be discussed. And he would be looking for wages of around £27,000 a week. Kenny still has three years remaining on his current contract with Fulham. Many of the Cottages are in a very strong position. They don't need to sell. They don't even have to listen to any offers for him. And worth noting that in January 2018, Fulham rejected offers of £15 million and £18 million from West Ham for Tom Kenny. They came back in twice. There's no doubting he has much needed midfield quality. Very creative. He knows how to work in a Slavisa Jukanovic system. Fulham fans adore him. But when you factor in the high fee, the wages, the zero resale value, you're not going to get £10 million back if you spend that. You're probably going to have to spend a lot more. The fact he suffered a serious knee injury as recently as last season, for me, it's a terrible decision from a business standpoint. And it wouldn't make sense. You know, Sheffield United in the past have made deals like this, but as a transfer, for me, it doesn't make sense, which means it's exactly the kind of deal I expect Sheffield United to do. <laughs> you've just you've seen it before. No doubting his quality, and he would add something to Sheffield United. But I, I have to mention those factors because they're important. When asked about if Sheffield United need Tom Kearney, yes, but not at that price, not at that age, and not after an injury where you don't know for sure how he will fully recover, and if Tom Kearney can get back to his best, to get back to being Tom Kearney. I give this transfer a likelihood score of only 5 out of 10, and it's purely because of those factors. If he's 28 and he hasn't had a serious injury, it's a completely different story. What do you think about Tom Kearney? Do you think it's likely? Let us know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.